Welcome back to Inspection Pro Joe, episode 10. Today, Joey and I have with us Mike Fiesel, CEO of RoofMax. How are you doing today, Mike? Oh, doing great, Jake. Thanks for having me on. Excited to be here, buddy. We are very yeah, we excited are, to have you. Yeah, we're extremely excited to have Mike on. He's he's crushing it in the roofing industries, uh, he's delivering this incredible product, RoofMax. I can't wait for him to share. Uh, and it's just been incredible from a standpoint. One, I met you at a conference and we got along extremely well and just hit, a, hit it off a great relationship. But this has produced a little bit of a side business for me starting because my inspection business is running because it's just a great, it's like turnkey with the, the same marketing that I used in, to do inspections. It can transition into this. So I can't wait for Mike to share this product with you and share his company with you and share his story. It's going to be an incredible episode. So thanks for being here, Mike. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. So I'm really excited to hear uh, more about your story. I know Joey knows you better, and I'd love to uh, get some details on how you and your brother were able to start your own roofing company uh, about 25 years ago, was it? And oh, right now, yeah. Wow. 85, or 88 when we started the roofing company. I started in roofing. Oh, wow. I'm old, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> But I'd love to hear a little bit about that story, how, how you and your brother took it from um, what you started with, and I'm not exactly sure on the size, and, and then where you, how you got to where you are now and some yeah. of the obstacles along the way. So, yeah, Jake, what happened was I started in the roofing business right out of high school, as my brother did, roofing for a friend of our families, and, um, and I lasted about six months. I hated it. You know, hot, shingles are heavy. It's, it's a tough job. And, and I moved on in life. And then it was uh, in, in 88, I was helping my stepfather build some spec homes and I was putting the roofs on those homes and just had an opportunity. I realized that while I did like construction, you know, had matured a little bit um, and then had an opportunity to get a contract with MI Homes, one of the largest home builders in the country based out of Columbus. Um, a year later, with it, within the year, my brother came back, quit his job. Uh, he had gone through college, came back from Indianapolis um, and we started Fiesel Roofing, grew that into uh, one of the largest residential roofing companies in the country. Um, and they're still in business today. We sold that back in 13. Uh, they're over a hundred million dollar company today. Wow. So wow. they're one of the probably top two or three residential companies in the country. Um, the number one residential roofing company in the country, still based out of Columbus. Columbus is like NASCAR for roofing. I don't know what it is. Yeah. We've got the largest <laughs> in the country, one of the largest roof management companies in the country. So um, there's a lot of software that comes out of the central Ohio area for the roofing industry. So we, we shifted after 25 years in the roof replacement business, mm -hmm. we saw an opportunity, you know, and I'm not sure, you know, inspectors are, you know, they're experts at a lot of things and they have a, a broad knowledge, mm -hmm. but a lot of home inspectors are not aware that roofing manufacturers over the last 20 years have removed about a third of the asphalt out of asphalt shingles. So today's shingles are one third lighter, they're one third thinner, and they're failing in about half the time. Wow. So, yeah, so if you just Google shingle class action lawsuit, you'll see that every roofing manufacturer has been or is in a class action lawsuit. And that's because 30 year product, <clears throat> in the early days and really up until the 2000s, a 30 year shingle weighed 320 pounds per square. Oh, wow. They weigh about 220. Mm -hmm. depending on the manufacturer and and it's not a 30 year product anymore now they call it a lifetime product and <laughs> my brother and i saw a hole in the market we saw an opportunity and that's kind of how we sold our roofing company and went down the path of, of roofing sustainability mm -hmm. and that's kind of how roof max was born that's awesome and so and and so what what is roof max and for the listeners that, that may have never heard of you um, just what is it? Yeah. So as I said, there's less asphalt, so less yep. asphalt means that a roof dries out quicker. And for the same reason you get a pothole in the road, mm -hmm. it's the same reason you have to replace a roof. When the oils dry out, the asphalt can no longer contract and expand. It's less waterproof and, and, uh, it starts to break apart time to replace your roof. Roof max is a, is a, a bio oil. It's a plant-based treatment that we spray apply to a shingle, it soaks down into the shingle. And when it soaks down into the shingle, it then rejuvenates that asphalt. Over three days, we take a roof, as an example, we took a 17 year old three tab shingle, 
from Central Ohio that typically they're, they're done at 12, 13 years. It's a yep. building grade product. And they were removed from a home because they'd failed. We sent in treated and untreated samples. Actually, Ohio State University did the study. Mm -hmm. And we and so we wanted them to package all up, control the whole, um, all of the testing that we had done at one of the two largest testing labs, PRI testing labs in Tampa, Florida, used by all the major US manufacturers. So we sent in treated and untreated samples of this shingle that had failed and we passed the same flexibility testing that's required for a brand new roof. Mm -hmm. wow. and, and that blows people away when they hear that. Um, but you know, the truth is, uh, you know, it's, it's not as difficult to, re, to rejuvenate asphalt as you would think. Um, the magic is getting the product down into the asphalt because asphalt's designed to repel water and whatever else. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, but today, nine out of 10 roofs that are being torn off and taken to the landfill, nine out of 10 roofs that a home inspector is saying, sorry, sorry, Mr. Buyer, the roof is at end of life. I said, well, typically you guys make the statement, roof is nearing end of life and it suggests an inspection from a licensed roofer. What the yep. real estate agent your customer, the home inspector's customer, what they hear representing the buyer is, oh, great. Now the roofer is going to come out and try to sell me a new roof. And yep. we, that's pretty much what happens. The seller doesn't want to come off the equity. You've got an upset agent that feels like <clears throat> trying to kill their deal. And that's when that friction starts where roof max interjects themselves nicely into the home into the real estate space is we're that option. Nine out of 10 of those roofs don't need to be replaced. We are keeping nine out of 10 roofs on the roof for five more years. And actually we'll be able, we're, we've now been treating for five years. So we know the roofs that we've been treating for five years, we're gonna be able to go back and treat the vast majority of those a second treatment and take it out 10 years. Yep. And if we're catching a roof before it needs to be replaced, not an end of life situation, although that's gonna be what you're gonna face in the real estate space. Um, but for just Joe homeowner that wants to maintain the roof, if they catch it earlier, we can take it out 15, even 20 years. But right now we, we, we make a claim that, look, we can treat up to three times. We know that we're going to be able to treat up to four times, could be even five times. Um, we've been told this by Battelle Labs, who created the formulation. It's a patent yep. formulation. We've been told by them that we could possibly keep that roof on there for 25, 30 mm -hmm. years. We don't want to make that big of a claim yet. We'd rather be on the conservative side of things and just, yep. you know, People don't care that 25 years out, they're trying to figure what's the next five years of the life look right? like. Mm -hmm. The five years gets the deal done. We've not had any sellers and we've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deals. Um, I, I would say at this point, thousands nationwide. We're in, yeah. we're in, 40, we're in all, all the lower 48 um, states. I would say that there's been thousands of deals that have saved and sellers are not, a, not uncomfortable coming off of a couple grand. They don't want to come off to 10, 15, 20 grand. Yeah, this this is so valuable. I mean, we've I've been at home inspections where you have the client, oh my God, how old is that roof? And a lot of them that freak out are the first time home buyers and they're buying that starter home that's they're only going to be in for five years anyway. So why would they put a whole new roof on when they can do this at a fraction of the cost? It's a one fifth the cost of the cost to replace a roof and it buys in five years. And you know what? If they decide to stay on another five, they put another treatment on. And the and the guarantee the five year guarantee, Mike, it's transferable. Well, so yes, it is transferable, but in reality, it's not even transferable. The roofing industry attaches a warranty to you, to the homeowner, because it has to be transferred to the next homeowner, and they know that ninety nine percent of people don't do that, so therefore they clean themselves, <coughs> they back away yep. from the warranty in that way. We didn't like that about the roofing industry, so what we've done is we attach the warranty to the home. To the home. There's no transfer to it. We call it a transferable warranty so people get the understanding of what it is. But it's just tied to that home. It just goes with the home. So there's no paper. And that's huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because he and, and you, we and even on the seller side, from a listing agent standpoint, they don't want to replace the roof. They don't want to have to do that. So they do this product at a fraction of the cost. Yeah. And then it goes on to the next deal. And so when that next buyer comes across that might have backed out before because of the roof, nope, nope, nope. We have this. Guarantee five year guarantee. We put this roof max on our shingles, and yep. you have you in it five more years out of it. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a win win. And the, I, to me, like from my standpoint as the home inspector, even I haven't been a referral partner for roof max. It's like a it's not there's no lose in this. <laughs> like, yeah. And I, and I nope. remember when we when we talked, and I'd go to uh, real estate offices, and I'd be a I'd be mentioned 
attention and like, hey, what, what, did you, what would you guys think of a product like this? And every, every realtor was like, oh my God, there's a product like that? What's this company called? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a new product. It's organic. You know, it, it's, it doesn't harm the environment, doesn't harm you spraying it. Yep. And, it and it's going to save tons of deals in our, just in our little, in our industry. We're seeing real estate agents that has saved deals for them now on the front side, getting their sellers to do a treatment if they think the roof is questionable. Now, obviously you're a home inspector, so you walk into the house. If there's a warranty on the kitchen table for a new furnace, a roof treatment says there's a five-year warranty yep. um, and a hot water tank, you're going to go look at them, but there's a warranty. So yeah. your liability just went down to almost zero. And so it's a way also for realtors are using the tool now on the, on the, the seller's agent is now suggesting it before the inspection, before the thing even goes to market. So we're seeing oh, that yeah. side. Yeah. yeah that's, we've, got that's a lot, huge. we've got a lot of market education that's going to be coming out here in 21. Um, we partnered with, uh, actually we got one, an investment from Kevin Harrington, the original shark on shark tank. Yep. So um, that, that's been exciting. So, um, and you guys are partnered up with them partner. You partner with Kevin Harrington. We're partners. So he came and invested in the main company, in the parent company. He's in our meetings, you know, our, 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 uh, our, we have members meetings every two weeks with all the owners of the company. It's me, my brother, and there, there's uh, eight of us total within the company. Yep. Um, and we had to bring in great people from around us from, and people from the, from the, from the franchise world. And the way to do that was we just peeled off a little bit of equity. So we really yeah. have a amazing team of people. And that's one of the reasons we've been able to grow so quick. This has become one of the fastest growing business opportunities in history. Kevin saw that. And it's really yeah. the need for a product like this. I mean, yeah. nobody wants to replace the roof. I mean, yeah. it's expensive and it just sits there. It doesn't, you know, you don't get to use it like a kitchen or a bath. <laughs> yeah. yeah you never, you're never really looking at it. <laughs> I used to always say uh, when I would come out to the home, <laughs> like the dentist showing up to somebody's house i mean yeah. people just didn't want to see a roofer coming out but it was, it was one of those had to's get excited about yep. buying more. people get real excited about kitchens and baths and all that stuff and you know they should it makes their home beautiful a roof doesn't change too much but it's yeah. but, but it's the most important thing on the home it really it really is good roof good foundation yeah yep keeps the water out and everything now this this is awesome, and I love what you guys are doing within your industry and with Kev partnering with Kevin Harrington and just seeing what you've done in this last year that I've known you. It's incredible, and it's an incredible, incredible product. Um, so guys, take a look at it and and get with you know. There's dealers in your area that you could refer out if you you find a bad roof, it's going to kill a deal. You know, let agents know about this product because it can. It can save deal. And like, like what Mike was saying, it reduces your liability. You know, maybe you're an established inspection business and you're looking for that next opportunity. You know, okay. our databases that we've collected, this becomes an, a perfect transitional business. Um, you know, the toughest thing to do, and we talked about this, Mike, is marketing. And if you have all the contacts, you have all that network, it becomes a very easy transition into your next business, to your next venture. Yeah. Um, Yep, absolutely. And, and and we're getting in on the on the ground level, which is awesome. <laughs> Twenty one. Um, but if not, I would Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah. No, for the inspectors, build start building your referral list. Get if if maybe you're not new in the business, get with get with a dealer because they can help you, you know, on your inspections, help your clients, your buyers, you know, that may not want to replace a roof. I mean, we get hit up all the time. Joey, how, do you, how do you handle the situation? And, and I'm sure a lot of home inspectors are, are thinking this. And I, you know, I know you <coughs> very well. One of my very closest friends, very dear friend, known him for yep. years. That's 4,000 inspections a year, big company like you. Um, you know, so I know in this world of home inspectors, there becomes in real estate in general, there is that line in the sand that you have to be careful not to cross. How do you handle that being uh, a home inspector? that maybe he's referring a product that you also own the company to. How do you handle that? Well, I think that, uh, well, one, I want to be transparent, but also I want to be separate at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. So keeping them definitely, I would, you know, from my standpoint, it's keeping them separate. So when I'm referring, hey, I know this is a, this is a whole nother company outside of the inspection business. 
And really, it's more for using the, my marketing. You know, if we're on an inspection and a client asks me, hey, do you know a roofer that can replace a roof? No, I, actually, you don't have to replace the roof. There's another product. And so basically what you're doing is you're giving them options because I don't want to necessarily refer out contractors, but at least if I'm the one that's in control of the customer experience, then I know that they're going to, then, then, the, then the quality is going to be there. And I'm going to make sure that they're satisfied because on that end, so I have no, I have no problem referring a business that I'm doing, especially if I'm saving them money and I'm helping them, them. You tell them to listen, okay, I'm referring you to this company, but by the way, I own it. It's separate from our home inspection company. A different guy runs it. He's got his own yep. set of eyes looking at these things. And we ultimately have to follow the process that RoofMax makes us go through, through to qualify exactly. a roof. So exactly. that you get that. I'm partnered up with, with, with RoofMax. You know, That's great. And I think you, you got to be transparent. If people ask, then you got to be transparent. You know, you can't lie to them, you know? <laughs> um, I don't know. But, 100%. But you, but you got to, and you got to say, hey, you're, I, you're going to be in good hands. I, I partnered up with this company. I'm going to make sure that it's taken care of. And if you have any issues, feel free to call me. You know, but yeah. you can But from that standpoint, and Roofmax will make you do this. You got to keep the two entities separate. Yep. For sure. Yep. Absolutely. You know, don't try not to commingle. You know, um, yep. with employees and all that stuff. You want to have a separate LLC, separate business, separate license, and all that stuff. You know, for any insurance. <laughs> have an interest in, um, in a dealership, they can go to roofmax.com and click to see. But also, uh, I wouldn't even say a dealership, like you said, if they just want to connect with a local dealer, um, they can either search it in their market or they can go to roofmax.com and just put in, find a contractor, get a quote. Yep. And what happens is if there's a dealer in your area, it will automatically send that information that your imp that that contractor or that home inspector will send their information to the dealer. Our system automatically does that, and when that dealer reaches out, you can say, "Hey, I'm a home inspector. Wanted to talk to you, uh, you know, to, to, uh, about partnering up and referring you out." And you know, either you can, I'm sure they'll they'll you know, do a uh, a referral fee, or if you don't want a referral fee, you know, that's fine too. Maybe you just want to refer. So. You know, our dealers will do whatever works, whatever's in the best interest of, of the home inspector or the realtor for that yeah. matter. That's awesome. And Jake, we'll put, we'll make sure we'll yes. have all the links and stuff. So people have easy yes. access when we, put, um, when we release that episode, because this is valuable. And yeah. I, I know it's going to be, ex it's extremely value in, from an inspection community. I saw that when, when we met, Mike, and you were telling me about it. I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I it's think I walked right up to your booth and was like, do you, can I have a dealer in my area so I can work with them? Because I just see you're realtors and clients need with this. Within like three weeks, I think you'd signed up. And I, know. Become, so I need quick. my territory. <laughs> I, I love that this is a, a modern solution where you're helping the, the consumer, the end consumer, while at the same time being in, sustainable and having a product that's safe for the environment. And I'm wondering, do you, do you have any uh, metrics? Do you have any idea of how much waste that this product has or maybe will uh, eliminate over time? Yeah, we've treated over 40 million square feet. We've kept over 100 million uh, pounds of debris out of landfills at this point. Wow. Uh, wow. And, and, and really, since, since we've started, actually, there was a press release that went out recently on that. But, you know, I, I'm going to say in 2021, um, we'll probably triple those numbers. Wow. And by 2022, um, we'll be doing that every month. And then and I'm going to say by 2023, we're doing that on a weekly basis because of the trajectory, the growth of the company. And, and the relationship with Kevin Harrington was because Kevin Harrington was the creator of the, the, uh, the, uh, the modern infomercial. Sports mm -hmm. Foreman Grill, Tony Little Gazelle, Ginsu yep. Knight. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So this product needs to be, the story needs to be told. People need to be educated. And the most expensive thing and the hardest thing, and every home inspector on here knows that, the hardest thing to building a business, any business, is how do you get the word out? And how do you get a return on that investment when you're getting mm -hmm. the word out? And so the partnership with Kevin, I mean, he brings a ton of value in so many different ways. Um, you know, he sold over $5 billion of the product in his career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very sharp guy. And, and he, he always likes to see a win-win. Um, he's, he's big on win-win. Like he yeah. really likes that. He doesn't always want to go in and he doesn't act like a shark and try tries to take advantage and get the best deal because he said that never ends up working out in the long run. It's got to be win-win for both parties or it's not a 
long term, it's not a good it's not a good business. Amen. But it's it's the ability to go out and tell this story, tell it effectively. Um, we're working with one of the top uh, 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 marketing companies in the country that produces these infomercials, TV commercials, direct response. Um, and so that's the value. So in 21, you're really going to see a lot of marketing. We just shot an infomercial recently. Um, so we need to massive amounts of energy needs to go towards educating the market at the national level from, for us at the local level for each of the dealers. And we've got 320, 330 dealers now over 600 locations. Um, that's awesome. so, so each guy's out there. I shouldn't even say each guy we've got, we've got a lot of women that own dealerships as well, or a, a number of them. Um, at the local level, educating the market, going in and talking to the realtors, going in and talking to the home inspectors, and then going to the home shows and talking to property managers and all of that. So, um, yeah, things are, things are going to shift quick. Once people realize that they know there's a way to treat a roof and extend its life and not have to replace it. I just think that 50% of the market at least will not replace the roof. There's no reason to. Yeah. Why wouldn't, why would you, <laughs> you know, you know? We're in early conversations, this is the, this is the benefit of getting a Kevin Harrington early conversations. Don't know if anything will come up, come of it, but Richard Karn from home improvement with Tim Allen years ago, the TV yep. show. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's interested <laughs> in dealerships. He's also interested in being our spokesperson. We don't, I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> you know, I, I awesome. spoke with him once, but we, you know, so if we can get some of that stuff, right, that gives us that instant credibility. Kevin Harrington brings a lot of credibility for us already. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty jacked. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun ride. It's been a fun ride so far. I'm excited for like you guys and I'm excited for the future of RoofMax and what it's going to do to the industry. You know, it's already doing amazing things and thanks for being on. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it, Joey. Thanks for having me on. You guys are great. Thanks, Jake. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for joining us for Inspection Pro Joe, episode 10. We'll see you next week and keep liking, subscribing, and sharing if you can. Thank you very much. Thank you guys and leave a review.